Dang, aren't I just the best? Look at this. I'm an Enderman. Ha ha ha. You'll never catch me, stupid guards. I'm an Enderman. Oh! Oh, I, I was caught, guys. Hey guys, Cloudwolf here, and I'm back today with another raycasting tutorial video. And this one is one of the things that I said I would do, which is an application of the raycasting tutorial to kind of show you how to um, how to use it. And uh, this one is kind of like an Enderman teleportation. I used it in a 60-minute map, and uh, I may release the 60-minute map for you guys to play. I don't know. It's a, it's a pretty short map. If you want to play it, just leave something in the description, and I will probably make a video on it. Um, I'll, it's going to be another one of those 60 minute maps probably where there's multiple parts and then I'll just let you guys play them all together when they're done. Anyways, so this one kind of is supposed to be like an Enderman teleportation uh, where you're able to teleport anywhere you want based on what you're looking at. So when I go like this and I have to be in game mode too, just that way I don't get trolled in creative, um, but I'll teleport and make a little Enderman noise like that and uh, you go where the trail is. Um, so this is really cool. Um, and I use it in the map for a really unique game mechanic. And uh, if the thing goes in the wall, it doesn't go anywhere. This only uses 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 commands and one scoreboard, which is just crouch, which you probably might already have in your world or whatever. Um, anyways, so let's get into it. Um, I'm also going to be talking about like how to use this uh how to use raycasting to your advantage. So if you look up there, there's actually a boat up there. Anyway, so let's go back into game of one and talk about how to make this. Um, so initially I started out thinking, well, okay, so we're going to need raycasting and we're going to need to make a boat move along the line that the player is facing. And uh, we're going to want to summon the boat one time. And uh, now just a quick warning, guys, I'm going to be kind of assuming that you know a little bit about command blocks because uh, this is a little bit more of an advanced application um, i'll try to make more simpler things but this is actually fairly simple compared to um, some of the stuff gamer got be created in his world but anyways so we're going what i wanted to do is detect when the player crouches and let them teleport along a line and uh, that's that was a later idea um, but the point was that I knew we would have to use ray casting so that the player could detect so you could detect the way the player is facing so they can teleport in that direction um, so what I so I wanted to do is make it so it only spawns one um, so what I did was as follows so these commands are the main ones that have to do with it so it is executing at somebody with and the most important would be let's see we'll start here so the first thought is executing at a player that has the crouch score min equals one, which means that they crouch. So first I need the scoreboard, which is scoreboard objectives add crouch stat dot sneak time. So that is going to test when a player crouches, it's going to add one to this, add really quickly to the scoreboard, which we'll deal with later. Anyways, so it's testing when a player has at least one and they don't have a tag of telly. This tag is arbitrary, it could be anything you want. Um, but the point is, this is how we make it so they spawn only once. So if I don't have this here, it will spawn a bunch of arm boats with armor stands in them above. So this is our raycasting boat, and it's going to spawn it 20 blocks in the sky. Um, for the actual map, I changed it to 21 and moved the teleportation up to head level, so it made more sense. Um, but that doesn't really matter. So once again, we are executing at a player um, with crouch of 1, and it's only going to do this once since they it's detecting if they don't have a tag of telly. Um, and it's executing at them 20 blocks in the sky, so basically where the boat is, and it's teleporting the boat to the player, um, and it's rotating at 180, so it's basically the boat is going to be shifted to face where you're facing, but 180 degrees backwards. That way we can use the faster passenger. If you don't do 180, um, you and you change the type, you would have to change the teleportation and everything, and it would be slower. Um, so it's 180, because the back passenger will make it go faster. Um, anyways, so then... What, after these two things that you only want to happen once, um, you tag the player with crouch min equals one telly. So if it runs once it goes through this chain of commands again, um, it'll see that the player has the tag of telly since they were crouching, and it won't do this again. Anyways, 
So next we have to deal with, and that's like the, basically the main part of this whole command. Um, there's only two more commands that are really, a few more commands that are really necessary and the rest are just for looks. Um, so this one is going to be executing at a player that has the crouch score. So this is basically as they're crouched, while they're crouched, the boat, so name equals boat, is going to detect 20, if 20 blocks below it, which is basically right where the boat is on the player's level. And it's going to detect if that block is air. And if it is, it'll execute at the back passenger and teleport the boat, which is basically what we went over in the previous episode. If you didn't see it, go and see that now because that's really important for this video. Um, so anyway, so basically it's just going to move the boat forward as long as there's air um, where the boat is on the player's level. So basically just go move the line forward as long as there's air. Um, then this next one is, does the same thing, but it's as long as there's any type of stained glass. That's what the negative one is for. It means any type. And this one is the same thing as long as there's any kind of stained glass pane. Um, next we're giving all boats, uh, all the boats, no gravity so they don't fall through the sky. That would be really lame um, and that would screw everything up. Um, then next we're executing at a player who doesn't have the crowd score. So this, most of these, the rest of these are pretty much just for after they uncrouch. So all those were pretty much for before crouch, which is pre-crouch, which is when I'm just like this. And now we're executing at the after crouch. And, uh, let me do time set day. There we go. Okay. So this one is executing when you uncrouch. So when, when you uncrouch and it goes through these commands and it gets to here, it'll kill the boat and it'll kill the back passenger, and it'll kill the front passenger. So it's basically just killing the armor stands in the boat so they don't uh, appear anymore. Um, and this is where yeah, I had to implement an extra step because I needed a way to detect when the player's not crouching and then kill them. Um, so I decided to use uh, something else. Anyway, um, so this is setting anybody with at least one on the crouch score of crouch to zero. So basically it goes through all these commands as long as the player is crouching, and it's like, oh yeah, they're crouching, and then when it gets here, it sets it back to zero to reset their score back to one. Um, so it's like one, zero, zero, one, zero. Okay. So anything after this, um, you can't, you can't detect if a player has at least one crouching or else it won't work. So that's why this is near the end. The last two commands are ones that aren't really important. So it doesn't really matter if the player is crouching or not. This one is executing at the boat and putting the red dust particles, which are purple because I changed the these two numbers here, which will change the uh, color of the particle um, to purple. And then this last one is executing at the boat. And this is where the little workaround I used. Uh, I'm summoning area effect clouds at the boat that have a duration of two ticks. So they're only in the game for two ticks. So you'll have those two particles. So those two um, area effect clouds, which are invisible and take up zero space. You can only see them with uh, F3B. They're like a marker armor stand. Um, so you have those two plus the boat plus the two armor stands. It's like six entities in the world at a time while it's moving because they'll die as it moves. So then we get back to the beginning of the chain. These two commands are here at the beginning of the chain. Um, I'm not exactly sure why I needed to. Oh, okay. So they're at the beginning of the chain. Um, that way, the uh, these aren't dead by the time it gets to it. And I probably could have moved them at the end, but I just put them in the beginning. Um, there was something that wasn't working when I put them at the end. Um, but anyways, oh, I know why. They need to be before it removes the telly score which is going to be right here this is going to remove the telly score um so if you're uncrouching it's going to remove the telly score this is important that it's before the whole thing um so that it removes the telly score only if you're uncrouching um and then that way if you recrouch like if you uncrouch it'll remove the telly score right now and then if you recrouch it will up it'll do these two first and then it'll apply this um if you put the remove crouch it's hard exactly to explain but if you put the remove the telly, um, if they're uncrouching towards the end, it'll run through these commands one more time. Um, so you'll it'll summon another set of boats again, which would be weird. And uh, yeah, so you have to put it before. That way it doesn't run through these commands again uh, when you're uncrouched. And uh, then the last two commands are the tele actual teleportation. So it's executing at the area effect cloud that is has attack of delay boat. And it's executing at it and detecting if negative 20 blocks below it is air. So that way it'll know if the player should go there. And then it's teleporting the player to it with the slash teleport command. And uh, it's teleporting the player with crouch of zero, tag of telly, uh, mode equals two, uh, negative 20. And I just realized why this is here. It is at the beginning. So that uh, before it removes the telly score. So that when the chain goes around, gets back to here. Um, if I stand up right now 
right it's basically here in the chain right and um it needs to check that i have the score the tag still before it removes the tag it needs to check that i have it and i have a score of zero um and then also that my mode is equal to two that way it just doesn't screw me over and then teleport me down 20 blocks this last one is just the sound effect that plays if this command block is true and active so in the end we have this which i think works fairly well it doesn't bend with your head um, but we could always change that but that's a lot more complex um so possible applications you could create the same exact thing um, but instead you make it so that a the player can't cancel it so it just keeps going forever and you can execute at the player who drops like i don't know say say they drop a item and then it summons um and then it executes at the boat that's up in the sky and it summons like an armor stand for like a sword and then it basically just makes it look like a sword is flying at them so it's throwing swords really easily um it would be the same thing except instead of summoning particles you would summon a sword and um it would be an armor stand with a sword in its hand um and then also you would just teleport it along the path and then you would also have to instead of executing at a player with crouch you have to execute at the uh, item that the player drops that's a custom named item so you'd have to tag the item and then execute at the item so it's a little bit more complex um, but totally doable with what i showed you here um so that's about it uh, for this video guys the next video will be the next principle which will be making things move faster um so anyways other than that guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you all later